That's one thing I love about mass medevac drop. I mean, it's just like so powerful because so many units are being dropped at a time. There we go. Glad to save you, boys. Okay. Guess I never saved them all before. That was what that achievement was, by the way. Alive inside is yeah. Save all the um, extra men that can be saved in this level. By extra men, I mean like the runes we found here and things like that. All right, let's just cut right through the Zerg, the Zerg base because, of course, that's where the last of the Mobius thing is. I don't know why she just doesn't spawn units to just attack this thing. I mean, I know it looks like a normal building, but it would speed up the process at least. Because you want to be sure it's in your own base, right? I mean, whatever. It's AI, AI foolishness. Ooh, Corruptor. Very, very good at the Zerg anti air unit, so it better be good at anti air. Of course, Broodling spawn. And now, of course, Kerrigan's like, oh crap, I know where it is. Confirmed. The final data core has been destroyed. We should evacuate immediately. Alright, however, the Terran army is too strong for this. Not even the Terran army, it's just Raiders Raiders. Raiders Raiders, not Raiders All Raiders. Right, Raiders Raiders. You want to tell me why the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts so damn bad? She fears their power. Just as she fears the Zelnaga who created it. The Zelnaga created both the Protoss and the Zerg, Commander. They were the gods of their time. Only I commentated through this too well, but hope wasn't too bad. I haven't recorded in, recorded in a long time, so I'm a little bit rusty. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely keep on top of that. Alright. I mean, my mic. This is Kerrigan. We've neutralized the Protoss, but there's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave us! All ships, prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. About that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Commander. Ken? What the hell's going on up there?
been cleaning up after you a lot lately. Leave it alone, Matt. Same dream? I said, leave it alone. What happened to Kerrigan wasn't your fault. Which part? Was she got left behind? Or was she murdered eight billion people? Same old bullshit. You ain't gonna listen. See what you're becoming? We are who we choose to be, Matt. When you figure it out, let us know. We're waiting on you. Let us look at the news. Kate Lockwell for UNN. The elusive Queen of Blades was spotted on Tirador recently. Dr. Emil Narud, head of the renowned Mobius Foundation, had a run-in with the alien queen, but is currently unavailable for comment. In a statement, Dr. Narud credited Rainer's Raiders with keeping the Queen of Blades from achieving Kate, her... I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have a breaking story. Apparently... Uh, um, go, to, go, to, go to commercial, please. Commercial. What goes bump in the night? It might be your gifted child. Register your child with PsyOps today. It's the law. It's your duty. I'd shoot at the screen if I saw that, and, if, and I was Germaner. Even though it says don't shoot at the screen, I, I, I'd shoot at the screen. It's Dr. Tosh. <laughs> He's a bad, bad man, that Tigus. He got a lot to hide. You think he's setting this up? His missions have been leading us straight to Kerrigan. Maybe you and Kerrigan keep running into each other because you both want the same thing. But Tychus, there's something else he don't want you to know. I can't see what. Just watch your back. Always remember that he's a force of destruction, that one. A stone killer. Yeah, Tychus is. He's quite a shady character. Let's see, does Swan have anything to say? No, he doesn't. Uh, let's read the medevac. Medevac! Well, that sounds cool. Sounds like someone from Star Wars, like when the pod racers started firing up. Med G226 Medevac Transport. Medevacs of the 19th Dominion Ar Marine Div Division first improvised the medevac. Yeah, I read that right, sorry. By modifying a dropship to allow remote control during the acid storms on Thalon, Thalon 7. This added tens of minutes to the life expectancy of medics. <laughs> a whole tens of minutes, people. Not whole, not like a lifetime, but tens of minutes to medics. Yeah, that's great. Marines still do not trust the accuracy of the scalpel laser. Nor are they optimistic about the precision of the auto suture. Sucher? Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. But the which were developed by the by Pro Procyon Industries. Procyon Industries, the lowest bidder. Maria Mother Thalassus, Thalassus was an early medevac pilot, credited with saving hundreds of lives. She later murdered two Marines who reportedly insisted on referring to the medevac as a heel bus. She's rumored to be re-socialized and serving happily in the Dominion military. It's a little scary. <laughs> That's actually really scary. Alright, let's see what we got here. We get the Thor, so we have the 330mm barrage cannon. As I used with Tychus a few times, I believe. We can upgrade the medevac to rapid deployment. A medevac to deploy loaded troops almost instantly. Hmm. That would be nice. And that would also... Well, I'll get into that later. Medivacs can heal two targets at once. Ooh, can we buy both? We're buying both. 
Though that will do something for some against something later on, but I will we'll get into that later. Uh, anything else in the cantina? Uh, nope. Wait, did I see? Thought I saw something. No, okay, I thought I saw something at the sheriff badge. All right. Um, nothing but the crystal. All right, do we have anything here? Uh, Zerg research levels at twenty-four. Okay. Uh, let's go to the bridge then. Let's talk to Tychus. Hey, I've been thinking about Tirador, and you know, there's gotta be better ways to make a fast buck than diving headlong into an alien invasion. If it gets too hairy for you, just try and think of the money. I'm trying, old buddy. I'm trying real hard. He's such a weird character, sometimes. You never know where he stands. Alright, Matt Horner. Good to see you, sir. All available missions are ready for your perusal on the star map. Matt, I... Hell, just... Thanks, I guess. That's one way to say it. I mean, you didn't say anything else. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you for um, watching this... I wouldn't call it an episode, but this mission of StarCraft Two Wings of Liberty. Um, this has been Iron Squire, and I apologize if my commentary hasn't been as good as usual, like it ever is. Um, I haven't recorded in a while, because I've just been an idiot, and backlogged my recording. Alright, well, I will see you guys next time. Actually, let us... Let us look at this. I don't want to do New Folsom, but you know what, we'll do it. Let's do New Folsom. Next time we shall. Bye.